All right, well, I guess Outside the Page has finally reached its .5 episode. And uh, welcome to episode 10.5, guys. And there's a reason behind this. Um, the last part to episode 10, uh, I promised you guys for weeks uh, that there was going to be one last major announcement after 300. I started talking about this during 300. I've been talking about it all the way through till this past week where I really started pushing it and I mentioned that there was one more major announcement that was going to impact this channel and everything I do online and uh, I promise you guys it was going to be up this Monday so I had to record the last couple of parts to the Outside the Pages episode Sunday night to hope that it would be up by Monday which it was up by Monday however the unfortunate thing was Sunday night I had a terrible awful headache and it was screwing with my mindset I there were a lot of things I had that I wanted to say but I forgot to say or I said a little bit about it and then I completely went off track and went somewhere else so I decided to actually look over the video again which I did and I wrote down all the things I forgot to say or all the things I didn't really expand on I noticed I repeated myself a lot too the good news is the main topic uh, came out at least mostly right. I'll I'll briefly go over that in a moment. But this is why episode 10.5 is this is mostly announcements. I didn't want to make an Avenger log. Episode 10 was already up. It was already Monday evening almost when I decided when I really realized all the stuff I left out. I didn't want to take a chance and I didn't want to re-edit the whole video again. It would be crazy and it, a lot of you guys had already watched it. So I just decided to make an add-on. So this is mostly going to be announcements. Um, or expanded explanations on certain announcements or things. Now, as I mentioned in the end of the last video, myself and my job have parted ways. I'm going down a path where I'm going to be working a lot online, um, so it's going to free up a lot of time for me to do stuff on this channel, on Comic Frontline, with Zone 4, everywhere, and that's really great, and I hope you guys are going to be really happy with all the new stuff that's going to be coming your guys' way, because now that I'm home more, I'm going to be really focusing a lot on this um, channel. Now, you're also going to know, however, that the reviews are late. There's a reason behind that. Friday was a very emotional day. It was my last day at my job and, you know, lots of emotions happened. It was just one of those nights where uh, I know I promised the live show I couldn't do it. I just wasn't there. It was the last day for me and it was a surreal feeling. Uh, you know, excitement for the future but sadness because I spent 10 years at my old job so I was kind of I wasn't in a funk, but at the same time, I didn't know how I would go, how it would go online. So I chose not to do the live show. And then the whole weekend was crazy, going up and down. As you guys know, um, oh, some of you know, some of you might not. Uh, Cindy and I are living in a separate apartment now, so I'm working on fixing that apartment up. And this weekend uh, started my whole being home all the time thing. So I started working on the apartment a little bit just to see how much work there actually is, and there is work there is a lot of work uh, the good news is as soon as it's all done I'm sure I'll be adding a segment of that in outside the pages to show you guys the new apartment and how things look it's gonna take a while though so don't look forward to seeing that for a while but um, I've been working on it and unfortunately in all the craziness the end of the job fixing up the apartment reading has been really slow and as you guys can see today Tuesday I'm recording this Tuesday. I was trying to record it Monday night. It just wasn't working. Um, Tuesday, we I finally finished reading my indie review, my indie book. So the indie review should be following this video, as a matter of fact, uh, and the big two review should follow directly behind as soon as I finish reading those. There's a lot of books for the big two, but I've already started. So hopefully, I'll have the big two review up at least by tomorrow night latest to Thursday morning so this way at least you guys won't have such a late review like last week the good news is it's never going to happen again I pray I then you know we hope um, because starting this when with this Wednesday's books with tomorrow's books um, we will be uh, starting with the big two books at least our grouped and solo uh, reviews world finest will be taking over after episode 303 because I believe we're up to 303 with the big two. Only three episodes left to the indie review, and then that's going to liberate all the indie books as well. And we'll see where the indie books go, but we will be reviewing all of our indie books. Mike's going to be doing a lot on Frontline. I'm going to be going back to doing... I've been MIA from uh, Comic Frontline the past couple of weeks just because the ending of the summer program was very hectic and very busy, and also the end of my working at 
my job. So now that everything's back to a norm, things will be going back to a norm for me online and with the extra time hopefully boosting a little bit more. Um, let me make sure I'm covered everything so far. This week, a few new series are going to be starting. As I told you guys, towards the end of August, beginning of September, new things were coming. 123 Podcast is coming, as a matter of fact. Uh, it's actually starting this week. I'm excited for that. You're going to hear the word excited a lot. I know I said that on episode 10 also, but it's a very exciting time for me. So just give me this time. And then after that, I promise I won't use exciting half as much as I've been using it the past couple of days. So um, podcast is starting up. The Wild Card should be coming soon as well as comics to the third uh, this weekend possibly. I promised you guys the Justice League um, trade paperback review. That should be coming. We have new trade paperbacks. We're going to be getting more trade paperbacks between Michael and myself. Remember though, our piles are huge. Even if we buy the trade paperbacks, it might take a little bit of time to read it, if not months, depending on how much books there are. <laughs> There's a lot of books. Uh, but when we have the time, we absolutely will start doing some trade paperback reviews. I know that Volume 6 of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ultimate Collection is coming out in September. And you bet your ass I'm going to be getting that ASAP. And I know I missed out on reviewing uh, issue um, or the Volume 4. I'll go back and do that as well. Um, so there's a lot of new things coming, a lot of new things starting. Fear the Walking Dead is another thing uh, I started. I will start watching, I am going to start watching uh, a few TV shows. I figure I'm going back into wrestling. I'm going to watch a couple, of new t uh, a couple of TV shows. You guys know I watch The Walking Dead. I'm a little bit behind on the actual series. I'm going to try to catch up before the actual series starts up again with Season 6. But Fear the Walking Dead is brand new. So I jumped on that right away. Um... I'm going to be covering with Brandt on the Chris and Brandt show, uh, Daredevil at some point. I'm, I'm going to be reaching out into several different things, and we'll see how movies go, movie review-wise, at some point. Right now, though, um, I'm taking it slow, because you guys know I've been away from TV for a pretty long time. Um, as far as the gaming stuff, I didn't mention this at all. Michael and I are working on getting a capture card for Frontline Gaming Zone at some point, and once we get... The capture card will be able to do a lot more, but we are working on, we actually do want to work on Twitch uh, for Frontline Gaming Zone at some point on the Comic Frontline Twitch page, so um, we'll see how all of that plays in. Right now, everything's going to be on YouTube. Soon it might start, like the live broadcasting will be on Twitch, but then we'll move it over to the YouTube channel so you guys have the um, archives of all of our gameplay. So don't worry, the YouTube channel is still going to be active. We're just going to be playing a lot more live as well. But that's Comic Frontline news. Uh, let's see. New series. So just expect a lot of new stuff on here. As a matter of fact, the Chris and Branch show, uh, that we have a special episode for you guys sometime this week. Uh, Brandt and Lisa are going to come on and talk about their experience at GeekCon. So I'm really excited about that. I'm sorry. I'm buzzing like crazy and uh, I don't know why. Okay. Um, so they're going to come on for the Chris and Brand show and talk about GeekCon. And then right after that, you guys know Brandt and I are going to be reviewing Batman vs. Robin. And then next month, the beginning or middle of next month, we're going to be reviewing Justice League Gods and Monsters. So look forward to both of those shows um, soon. Uh, let's see. As far as my book, a lot of you guys have been asking. I know I briefly mentioned this in Episode 10. Um, the, progr the progress... For my book, Celestial Falcon, is going excellent. I have an artist. I don't want to announce anything yet. But uh, character descriptions have been written up. Um, pages are about ready to start getting underway. And um, Target is fall of 2015. I'm very excited for that. And I'm excited. There are other future projects I'm working on with Last Ember Press. I'm, However, uh, not that I'm not allowed to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it at this time because, again, a lot of the stuff we do, um, you know, we have to plan out still. Or the, a lot of the stuff we're planning needs to be planned out more. So I don't want to give you guys like, oh, I'm doing this, this, and this, and then you don't see it for a while. So instead, I'll wait till it comes closer, and then I'll discuss it more here on Outside the Pages. Or, or you can go check out Last Ember Press's live show on the Last Ember Press YouTube channel, but I will be expanding on the stuff I'm working on on here from time to time, but again, this is outside the pages. We're trying to take you guys, I'm trying to take you guys away from the channel stuff. The reason I'm actually even doing announcements on outside the pages right now is because I failed to make 
a decent attempt to do it when I have my headache. So I'm actually making up for it, and I don't want to make Avenger Logs anymore, so until I figure out a title for the announcements, I'm going to use Outside the Pages as my announcements. Um, I will tease something. Jeremy and I are working on an idea that is going to be on my channel and on Comic Frontline, both. Uh, I'm not going to go further than that, but I'm really excited to be working with my good friend Jeremy on this idea. It's going to be great, and hopefully Google Plus will still be around. If not, I have no clue how we're going to do it, maybe through Skype. Uh, if I get a recording program that will allow me to record video, or maybe it will just be audio. I don't know. I'm in the dark right now with the way the live shows are going. As a matter of fact, um, YouTube is trying a beta out with XSplit, and you know, to get the best program, you have to pay a monthly fee. So Mike and I are kind of at a crossroad right now. We're not sure if we're going to stick with Google Plus all the way through until it's over or we're going to take our chances and work into XSplit or one of the other programs that work with YouTube. Uh, I know Mike Spider Slayer did his comic book countdown today using the YouTube uh, live stream, but unfortunately uh, my fear is, and it's I'm almost 100% sure it's true, that you can't have guests on with you. Google Plus allowed you to have multiple people on a live show. If they keep Google Plus, I'll be using Google Plus uh, for when I'm talking with more than one person. When it's a solo, maybe we'll go into the YouTube uh, format beta later on with the live streaming. I don't know yet. I don't want to make promises or anything, but everything went and got topsy-turvy now now all of a sudden google and youtube have been working so well together for so many years the past couple or three or four years and now we're separating and it's all google's fault that youtube looks the way it does now and works the way it does now and now they're separating ways little bits at a time or at least the the plus it's separating from and that's frustrating because we all got used to the live shows that way um and i'm hoping that they at least keep it as a an option because if they don't, it's going to really frustrate and piss me off. Because as much as I love talking with you guys, and that's the whole point of Dark Avenger Live. And I mean, for, for Dark Avenger Live, I mean, if that's the way it has to be, it has to be. But for Frontline Live and other shows where I want to talk with other people, that's frustrating. Because as much as I want to talk to you guys, I want to have somebody else on. So you guys have like that back and forth conversation going on on the live shows too. So it's a little bit frustrating. And I'm hoping that YouTube especially uh, sorts that all out. Another quick tease is I'm working on something else. Now, as I said to you, uh, I'm, I'm going to be working from home, uh, doing multiple things, a lot of secret projects and some of the, and the stuff you guys know, like my book and whatnot. Um, I'm working on another idea, and um, I have to thank my mom because she actually gave me, she planted the seed for this idea, and then the seed just grew into something completely and utterly absolutely nuts. And... Uh, I told Brandt about the idea, and um, he's going to help me out with it as much as he can. Uh, you guys are going to, I hope you guys are going to love this idea. It's going to be a monthly thing, and it's not a video. I mean, videos will be attached to it, but it's not a video, this idea. It might have something to do with, 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 with certain things. So um, stay tuned for that, and it'll probably be connected mostly to Brooklyn Boys, but I'll be advertising it here and on Comic Frontline and everywhere. So lots to look forward to and lots of things that I'm working on, and I'm really, really going to have fun with this idea. And, you know, I got to I gotta hand it to Brent. You know, he's um, he's been with me through a lot of the crazy stuff that's been going on behind the scenes, you know, um, with leaving the job and a few other things that are happening at home, kind of really, really personal stuff. Uh, that later on in life or later on in Outside the Pages, I'm sure, as things get better, uh, I'll be able to talk about more. But uh, I have definitely been having um, health issues the past year uh, due to several things, not just work or not just specific things. But there have been health issues. And uh, Brent is an insomniac like me, so he's up with me and we sit around and we talk and I bounce some of my ideas off of him. And, you know... Um, as much as I would love and hope that at some point everybody from Frontline or uh, the people that I talk to on a daily basis, I hope that they'll come on at some point and I'll be collaborating with them on videos for this channel. Uh, Brant really delved deep in this with me. He's working on a lot of projects with me on this channel, on Frontline, on Zone 4, and you know he's helping me with the thumbnails for this channel. Um, 
he, he's been doing a lot for me and helping me out a lot. And, you know, the Chris and Brand show, another example, you know, he didn't have to say yes to it. He's a very busy person, as you guys know, and he still agreed uh, to bringing that show back along with the morning stream and everything else that he's already doing on this channel. I mean, he's a really, he's been a really great partner, just like Mike is on the reviews. Brand's been one of those great partners with me on everything else that I do on this channel, whether it be a podcast or a live show or whatnot. And I know that if time permits, you guys will be seeing other faces on here. I've already approached certain people on ideas um, for this channel. I'm still working on other ideas. Again, I didn't want to overpack this channel. And I didn't even announce doing TV and movie reviews because I, don't, I didn't want to make that promise and then maybe fall back on it. But the good news is, Fear the Walking Dead, I did it. So we'll see how other, as other series start up again and other things move forward or other movies are released we'll see how those go as well um but for right hi, now baby. hi tommy how are you see stuff like that we'll see how stuff like that happens uh in the future but um i didn't want to make that announcement so i've got a lot going on on this channel right now but i do have lots of other ideas so as series move forward and as time opens up or as certain series you know shrink or move out of the picture more newer series will come in or if time permits newer series will just come in on their own and don't forget guys i'm also working on comic frontline and i do have something i'm going to be doing on comic frontline as well very soon uh, and also i would like to point out that me and jay will be doing our monthly live show talking about all the superman books superman is the name of the live show uh so i've got a lot of things i want to work on on frontline also i want to build this channel back up i want this channel to be the best that it can be and i want it to be more than just comic reviews i wanted it to be a wide variety a wide assortment of videos and i think that the path that this channel is going is in a very very good direction so now it's just getting my channel's path Comic Frontlines Path and Zone 4 Podcast Path on the same exact road. This way, as I'm traveling forward with this channel, I can travel forward with Frontline and, and Zone 4 and not have to worry about splitting my time a million ways. And I do have a method. It's going to work really awesome. And that's why we're actually uh, going into individual and group reviews starting this week with the big two books. So it'll help me out getting back on the horse with Comic Frontline. We got big things coming soon on Frontline and Marvel's going into its next big phase and we are we need to be ready for that. Um, other th the last thing I want to talk about, and I very briefly uh, talked about this before, is Dark Avenger C86. I'm working on building up the name, but until I can get a definitive thing set, I don't want to. I don't want to go too far into details with that yet. But I want you guys to know that there are links in the descriptions. I've actually purposely uh, set it up so that the descriptions have the links in them automatically as I'm uploading the videos. Dark Avenger C86 is not limited to YouTube. I've gone off into other websites like Twitter. Twitter is my first stop when I make uh, an, a, a in the moment announcement about a video series, um, a live show announcement, anything. Twitter or retweeting stuff that's going on on Frontline or Zone 4. Twitter is your next stop. For Dark Avenger news, and I'm I might not do live tweeting while I'm watching TV shows. I might to keep myself, you know, interested in what I'm watching, especially if I'm getting bored of it or if something's going on in it, and I really want to talk about it in the spur of the moment. But I don't like doing spoilers because then people who follow you on Twitter have to worry about it, avoiding Twitter, and I, I know that because I have a few people that do the live tweeting and. For me personally, I don't mind spoilers. You all know, I could have a whole movie spoiled for me, not care, and go watch the movie myself. But um, I know other people it bothers, so I have to think about the people that it does bother as well as the people it doesn't, and I have to take them into consideration too. But I do do a lot of tweeting on there uh, as far as re retweeting people who have really major announcements, like writers and artists, and I do do a lot of announcements about the live shows and the series, so that's one place. Next is Instagram. I take pictures of anything uh, outside of the com. I've taken pictures of every game we've gotten over the past two years. Any new thing that's come along that isn't comic related, uh, I've been posting on there. Recently, I've started doing pictures of comic books. I'm actually thinking of every now and again posting pictures up of some top recommended comic books on my Instagram. I love Instagram. It's a lot of fun. Uh, now that I have an updated phone, I've been 
ODing on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, everywhere because it's all at the, literally, it's in my pocket right now. All I have to do is take my phone out, boom, and I'm there. Comic Amino, uh, I've stopped posting on because I've been very, very busy, but Comic Amino is another place where I'm going to be posting up my videos very soon. But going back to Instagram, if you have an Instagram, it's Instagram.com backslash Dark Avengers C86. Everything is backslash Dark Avengers C86, except the email address, which as you guys can see, it's at Yahoo and it's Dark Avenger uh, 1450. But um, Instagram, I post a lot of pictures. I'm going to be doing a lot of comic pictures soon with recommendations. As I'm reading, I'm going to be doing my solo reviews. After the solo reviews, I'll be taking pictures and maybe posting on Instagram my thoughts on my favorite book of the week or three of my three top books of the week. You don't know. I don't know. So check out Instagram. Blogger, I've written several things on Blogger, but remember guys, Comic Frontline's on Blogger too, so uh, if I do start writing on Blogger, I might separate or, or divide up my work. Not sure yet, but Blogger is basically a place where I sit down and I write out, uh, not really reviews for comics, it's more along the lines of writing out either like an outside the pages, or talking about a certain series, or talking about a certain topic in comic books, or just venting. Right now, I'm trying to think of where I want to go with my blogger. So, but there is a blogger for Dark Avengers C86 as well. Um, Twitch. I do have a Twitch. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be doing with it yet. Maybe I'll do some like community multiplayer gaming on there. I'm still debating about that. And finally, um, actually two more. I was going to say finally this one, but there's one after this. Movie Pilot. I actually found this website. This website, one of the people on it, if you guys have been following my comments, I was commented through um, somebody who works on there. Really awesome website. I um, I actually made a profile on there. It's very easy to make a profile on Movie Pilot. It's for creators. There are a lot of really great writers, a lot of great people sharing their videos on there. Uh, I've made my own um, profile on there. It's moviepilot.com backslash darkavengerc86. I backtracked a hundred episodes back and every time I post a video on YouTube it goes up either the day of or the next day on Movie Pilot. Really great, great, great site. Elma Fudd everybody. Um, it's a really great site. I would definitely recommend you guys check it out. I'll be definitely posting on there. I've already checked out several uh, people's posts on Movie Pilot. Really, really awesome stuff. Um, and finally, now, uh, the reason I forgot about this is because I'm not really working on it yet. I'm working on making a Facebook page for my channel where I'll be posting my videos instead of posting it on my private uh, profile uh, I want to make my private profile my my profile because I'm going to be posting uh, book stuff on there and other personal stuff I'm going to be posting all my videos on the Facebook at some point as well so um, right now the Facebook has no likes I'm actually still working on it as we speak but there will be a Facebook the link will appear in the descriptions once the Facebook is completely done and you guys can like it. If you're on Facebook more, you'll see whenever I post up a video, maybe I'll post little um, posts here and there, just random ones like I do on Twitter. Maybe if I post something on Twitter, I'll also post it on Facebook. In case you don't follow on Twitter or in case you don't go on Twitter, it'll be on Facebook. But I'm really trying to reach out to every site possible. Movie Press is a new site that I'm really, really happy with. Inst uh, Instagram is a site I, I'm on religiously. Twitter, I'm on a lot. Facebook, I'm always on. That's why I wanted to make a Facebook page. Um, so, again, links are all in the description below. Other places you can find me are always ComicFrontline.com. Right now, I haven't been around that much lately, but I am planning to come back, and it's starting tomorrow with tomorrow's books. And um, same thing with Zone4Podcast.com. Brant and I, all the podcasts I do on this channel are going on Zone4Podcast.com as well. And... Any other channel or website that I'm affiliated with, you can find me there as well. Like I said, you guys have my email address. Um, so there's a lot going on. And Last Ember Press is another place you guys are going to be finding me soon. But not as a reporter more or a reviewer, more as a creator, period, like a writer. So lots of stuff going on. I'm really excited for it. I hope you guys are as much as I am. Uh, sorry for this long point five. I'm going to leave it here because I'm getting buzzed like crazy. I think this is the eighth buzz already, so I want to I wanna go answer these. And I, I have a few other things I want to do. Look forward to the indie review. It's next. Sorry for using outside the pages as, a, as an announcement video, but I'll put it in the title also that it's mostly announcements so you guys will know in advance. But uh, I, I'm really sorry that, the, that this all couldn't have been on the 
original episode 10 of Outside the Pages, and I'll try not to do videos when I have a very bad headache, and um, hopefully my health will progress now that I'm on this new path, so I'm very excited about a lot of things, and having the up spirit is also helping me stay strong as well, so... As always, guys, please feel free to comment, share this with your friends, tell your friends if they haven't subscribed to subscribe because we've got big things planned for this channel, we've got big things planned for Frontline, and we've got big things planned for Zone 4, and it all starts literally right now. So I hope to see you guys there.